Hey, it's Dr. Thornell. I'm going to show you today what we're calling the gut smash. What we're focusing on here, the hip flexors, part of the, the psoas musculature that starts on the front of your thigh. As it ascends up your body, it actually works from the front of your thigh backwards and attaches clear up here underneath your rib cage along the spine. So one of the ways that we can get to the hip flexor muscles that do get so tight from sitting constantly, they're in a shortened position all the time, so that when we try to lengthen them, frequently it's difficult to stand up straight, and as we pull on those muscles, it causes a hyperflexion in our lower back, causing our belly to go forward and to sink in in the mid-back, or in the, in the lower back, um, and that puts a lot of undue pressure on those joints and causes a lot of back pain. So what we want to do is we're going to show you a way to stretch that psoas muscle simply by laying on a ball. Now the ball that I have here is a it's a baseball practice tool. You could use a softball. You can use the edge of a foam roller. That's about the right diameter that we're looking for. And we're going to lay on top of this. So when you, if you use the foam roller, you're going to have to do it in sections. You're going to do one side and then the other. What I like to do with the the training ball that I have here. Even a soccer ball um, is worth trying for this and see how, work, how well it works for you. All we're gonna do is lay on your belly. You're gonna do this on the floor, I'm up on the table just to give you a little better perspective. We're gonna take that ball and we're simply gonna put it underneath our belly. So in this case, I'm just slightly above my belly button. I'm gonna let my upper body relax down. I wanna take a nice big belly breath, meaning as I inhale, my stomach is getting bigger as I exhale. I want to exhale fully and let my stomach muscles relax as much as I can, trying to absorb the ball up into my spine. So it's going to look like this. That ball should completely disappear. And then we relax. And all we want to do is we relax, just roll off of the ball, take the pressure off your stomach, and then we're going to come back to it again. Uh, most of the time, I'm going to recommend that you do three breaths like I just did, fully relaxing each time you exhale, trying to let that ball come as deep into your, your abdomen as possible towards your spine. Um, we're going to do three breaths, take a break, three breaths again, take a break, three breaths again. So we end up doing three sets of three breaths. Now, as you're doing that, you might take those three breaths and just move the ball around slightly, little up, little down, um, and work where you feel that tightness is the most important place to do that. So that's the gut smash.